hello friends so i've been wanting to do more plant content for a while as have some of you guys i believe i don't know i've had some people request that i should talk about my plants more on youtube so here i am and i thought today would be the perfect opportunity because i just got a couple of new guys and i really need to plant them so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing i also have a couple that could maybe use a little TLC. Like I know, I really, here, let me just grab them. Might as well really fast. So specifically, I have never had good luck with succulents, but I decided I really wanted to try to keep some cacti alive. I think they're really cool. Succulents are also a little overrated if you ask me, but here's the deal. I got both of these in the same day, both pots in the same day, and I just feel like I need to swap these pots because this one is borderline too big for the pot, and this one just looks weirdly small in this pot. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to swap these out today. Hopefully they don't prick me too much. I'm terrified of planting cacti, but here we are. It'll be fine. I'll start off with this guy. He's gonna be the easiest. I really won't even need to put much of any extra dirt in here he's pretty much going to go straight into the pot i know a lot of people keep their plants in these plastic pots and just like set them down inside of like a nice looking pot i don't know why i'll be doing that maybe it's good but i always like to instantly pot my plants as soon as i get them so i got these both if you're in st louis i got both of these plants at may pop now i have a love-hate relationship with them because it's a really cool concept that they're like a coffee shop and a plant store. I absolutely love that, but their plant prices are kind of insane. However, I feel like I did get a pretty good deal on both of these guys. So this is my first, I believe, Peperomia, and it was only $8.99, which I thought was a great deal for how full this guy is, and he's really pretty. I actually went to Maypop just for this pot. I think that it's really, really cute. My best friend actually has the same pot, and I was like, where did you get that? I need it. I'm trying to bring more, like, black accents into our apartment. So, yeah, I got this guy specifically for this pot. So let's go ahead and plant him. This feels so funny. I feel like such an amateur when it comes to plants, honestly, which is why I've never made plant, con plant content before. But, I mean, if y'all want to see it, here we are. Okay, he needs just a little extra dirt. Not bad though. Not only do I feel like I just don't know like that much about plants, but I truly be doing the bare minimum with my plants. Like, I don't know anything even about like fertilizing your plants to be completely honest. I just water them and call it a day. <laughs> and I don't like get super fancy plant stuff I don't buy like I don't know anything about the different types of soils you're supposed to use none of that actually I think this potting mix is from an actual plant store but I usually just get whatever's cheapest at like Home Depot or Menards or whatever I like to put some fresh dirt just right at the bottom gnats dude this literally never fails as soon as I start filming some loud shit outside happens I know you know the pain, love. I used to not even crumble these up, but I know that you're supposed to kind of loosen up the roots in the dirt. Honestly, I probably could have gotten a slightly bigger pot for this, but I don't know. It's not too, too bad. It's like right at the perfect size. Like it could grow a little bit in here, but I'll definitely end up needing to repot this somewhat soon, probably. Depends how well I can grow this. I've heard that peperomias are pretty easy to take care of, but plants are honestly different for every person. There are some plants that I feel like I do really well with that others struggle with. And then there's some really common ones that I just kill, so. If you feel like you kind of can't take care of certain plants, don't feel bad. You just have to find the right plants for you. I don't know if plants are like considered a hobby. Maybe they are. What do you think? Are they a hobby? I love. Uh, yeah. I, I think it could be like plants, like gardening. Mm -hmm. I think that's a hobby. Yeah. But 
the reason I say that is because I feel like there's a lot of hobbies that I like to try out. For example, I really tried to get into crocheting and then I haven't picked it up since. <laughs> I liked crocheting. It was just kind of hard on my hands, to be honest. Um, and especially since I do hair for a living already, like, I'm not trying to have arthritis at 23 years old. And I'm already kind of on the path to have it, so I don't know. Uh, crocheting just definitely was a little painful <laughs> for like my hands and my wrists, but plants are something that I've been able to stick with. I feel like it came somewhat naturally to me, maybe because I'm like kind of an outdoorsy person already, but they're honestly so rewarding. Like of all the hobbies that I've tried and done, watching my plants grow is so wholesome and makes me feel pretty good. It makes me really happy when I see them grow. So here we go. Simple as that. That really did not need a whole lot of dirt. I'm sure I'll need to kind of, you know, fluff up the dirt and whatnot as I water it and make sure it's all packed in there nicely enough, but I think it looks pretty good. I really think this guy looks so cute in this pot. I kind of have to figure out where to put these. Not that I don't have room, but just with all of my like Halloween decor that I have out right now. Next plant. So, I finally found a begonia. I was seriously so happy about this, you guys. I've been wanting a polka dotted begonia at least for like a year now, not gonna lie. And I have heard that they're a little tricky to take care of, so I'm very nervous that I'm gonna kill him, but it was only $12.99. Which again, this plant store is very expensive, so I thought that was a really great deal. And I have this old pot that originally had our money tree in it. Money tree eventually died, sadly. And then I had an allocation in here that also died. I kept that one going for a decently long time though. So, you know, it is what it is. I've also heard, whoops that you can kind of use the bulbs and it might come back. Like one of my friends had that happen, but I don't know. The allocation was a pain in my ass, honestly. <laughs> so it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. The only problem that I have is that this pot doesn't have a drainage hole. So I don't know if that might be part of the reason why it died, but man, that's some good dirt down in there. Ooh. Okay, as much as I love plants, y'all, I have this weird fear of roots. Roots really freak me the fuck out. I don't know why. They just give me the heebie-jeebies, you know? I almost feel like I should maybe put some rocks down in the bottom of this because I know that's a good way for drainage. Hmm. Let me go ahead and grab some rocks. I might as well, you know? I really don't want this guy to die. Also, if you didn't know this, can you even see me? I think you can. Um, I keep all of my plant stuff in this little closet right here. Dude, it's 67 degrees in here. Dude, I love it. It feels really nice. Yeah, it does. The air is fresh. Yeah, we have had our AC off for like the whole week, honestly. It's finally starting to get cool here in St. Louis. And it's making me real happy. So I just have these pebbles. It says decor pebbles, so I don't know, I don't know. I'm no expert here, but I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of these in the bottom to hopefully help with drainage. Because my only weakness with plants is that I tend to overwater them. And if you didn't know, I do have a plant tour on my channel. I would like to do an updated one though, because I've had a lot die, and then I've brought a new a lot of new ones in to replace those, but um, I use this app called Planta to remind me when to water my plants, and just kind of more so, I use it at this point to keep track of my plants, um, because I sadly will sometimes forget about certain plants of mine. And uh, I don't know, it just helps me. It also keeps a log of all of them. So I can look at plants that I've previously had. I can see photos of what my plants looked like when I first got them and then compare them to like how much they've grown and whatnot. So 
it's a fun app to have but i can't really rely on it for watering purposes anymore because i do feel like it was making me water my plants just a little too often which was not cool so i kind of just go by feel at this point i pay attention to how droopy my plants are if they're yellowing their leaves more often and then i of course also just kind of take a look at the soil and if I feel like it looks super dry, then I'll go ahead and water them. But I'm trying really hard to just, in general, not water my plants as much. Especially as we go into winter, because I hope I don't have this backwards. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to water your plants less in the winter. And they need it more in the summer because it's hot. So trying to keep that in mind too. I am literally in love with this begonia. Holy crap. It's so pretty and I really hope that I can maybe get it to flower. Also, another thing about this, I don't know why I'm like spilling tea about this fucking plant shop right now, but the last time before this very last time that I went in there, um, the people who worked there were truly not nice to us at all. They made us feel really stupid and they even yelled at Chris for touching one of the plants there. He didn't know better. I didn't even know better and yeah the lady just like yelled at him and scolded him and so we literally didn't go back for maybe a year and then I just went with my two besties from work and I had a really really great experience I don't know if they like have a whole new staff there now or what but the girls that work there were so freaking sweet I felt like I was just like making friends while I was there and I, okay, so I don't, this is not even about plants anymore, but I like didn't have many girlfriends in my life for a very long time because I had a falling out with my best friend that I had in high school. And like after her and I stopped being friends, I just like fucked off from having any girlfriends for a while. And now I have some really amazing like feminine energy in my life. And I feel like every time that I go out with like just the girlies, I always have other girls like coming up and talking to me or like complimenting like my outfit or my style or things like that. And it's just really wholesome. I love meeting people. I mean, I'm very introverted, but like it's nice when people are friendly when I go out. And like I said, it tends to really happen when I'm like out with my girlies, if I'm like out thrifting or anything like that. Okay. I need to go back here a little bit. I feel like I maybe put too many rocks in here because don't fall over, honey. Oh my gosh, a lot is happening right now. What the heck was I in the middle of just saying though? Anyways, good feminine energy in my life. Need it, love it, that's about it. Is that better? Oh yeah, that's much better, cool. I just want a little rock crazy there, it's okay. Like, it needs drainage, but damn, not that much. The fuck? But yeah, it was really nice that I had a much better experience going into this plant store. And everybody there was just super sweet, and it made me really happy. They were also jamming really good music in there too, and I was like, damn, okay, the neighborhood, Arctic Monkeys. This one, particularly, so they only had two begonias left. And the one looked a little rough, and this one, as you can see, the leaf that's like right there in the camera, definitely has some browning to it, but the lovely girl at the checkout took some of the brown leaves off for me, like she just sniffed them off, and then she noticed, and I also noticed this too, that there is like, you can't see it from this angle, you can kind of see it more from the back, there are a ton of little babies coming in on this guy, so... My hopes are very high with this plant, okay? And I don't know when the flowering time of year specifically usually is, but I feel like spring, summertime next year, if I can keep it alive for that long, it'll be thriving. If you guys have any begonias, please give me some tips on keeping this guy alive and let me know when it typically flowers so that I can make sure I'm really doing everything I can to make this guy thrive. Okay, that looks great to me. Look how cute she is! 
pots and she looks really good in this pot too actually this is one of my favorite pots despite it not having a drainage hole i truly i love that pot so much also i've discovered that planting on this little table helped me for making a mess so much i mean obviously the table's dirty but i used to just plant straight on my hardwood floors because i mean i could just sweep it right up and oh my god i used to have dirt everywhere and this is just so much tidier so now i tackle the cacti cactuses cacti i like to say cacti i feel like that's more grammatically correct maybe i should try i know chris has some gloves maybe i should put gloves on for these i did just barely water these guys so i hope oh, that just lifted through no that was way too small of a pot for that guy please also it has a drainage hole but it's literally covered up right now this fuzzy thing just came out of the bottom of that can y'all see that i don't know what that was anyways okay i'm pretty sure this guy is the pokey guy oh what what is happening? Okay. This is a lot. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay. This guy is so thick. Did I switch these? I did switch these in the right pot. I'm losing it at this point, you guys. <laughs> what? Okay. That was literally horrifying. I'm pretty sure this is the prickly one because there's some prickly guys down here at the bottom that I'm terrified of right now. Also, this guy is called, I believe it's called a fairy castle cactus and then the other one that's laying down right now this guy is a bunny ear i think that they're both freaking precious also speaking of soil i mentioned that earlier that like i don't do anything fancy for soil because i don't really know much about it i know there's like specific soil that they sell for cactuses and succulents and all that but like I just use the same soil on literally all my plants, so there's that. <clears throat> Wait, maybe this guy isn't pokey. I don't know. I just assume that any cactus is pokey at this point. My bestie's gonna be so proud of me that I finally switched the pots for these because I've been talking about doing it for like ever <laughs> and I'm just now getting around to it. Pretty classic. Oh my god. How many times have I said this one's pokey. Wait, is it pokey? No, it's pokey. Wait, is it? <laughs> okay, that's good enough for me. There he is. He looks really freaking cute in this pot. 10 out of 10. Very happy about that. No. Oh my god. I have so many hairs in my dirt. I'm truly a part of my plants. <laughs> How about that? Okay. How the hell? Did I even possibly have that guy shoved in this tiny pot? That's just rude. I am slacking. This is working out so well. This went so much smoother than I thought it would in my head. I thought this was going to be such a task to switch the pots for this, and it wasn't bad. Story of my life. If you watch my cleaning vlog, I was talking about that, that like, sometimes chores can seem really daunting in your head, and then you do them and it literally takes you like 10 minutes and you're like, oh, that wasn't that bad actually. <laughs> Yeah, those fit way better into those other pots. I'm really happy that I just switched those around. Super easy, super painless. I'm glad that I found that glove too, because that was literally perfect. All right, let me clean up this dirt real fast. 
And then I will do a grand reveal of all my plants. This is actually a longer video than I thought it would be. I was all like, oh, maybe I'll just throw this into like a vlog somehow. But I actually think I'm gonna keep this as just a plant video, which is pretty cool. And I hope I can keep doing these more have just like little plant chats with you guys and if you want to see an updated plant tour for me let me know i don't know that it's changed as much as i maybe think it has in my head but i feel like my plants are a lot different than the plant tour that i filmed i'm trying to think if i was even living in this unit or if it was still the one like the first unit that we lived in it is probably this one now that i'm thinking about it but Anyways, it would be fun to just like, even give you guys kind of frequent updates about my plants. I know I did that in a vlog, but I could do dedicated videos where I show you guys plant updates and show you kind of like the new growth of my plants, tell you if any plants have died, just kind of in general give you an idea of like how my plants are doing. I think that would be pretty fun and pretty cute. Um, I was even just thinking too, I'm going to wait till they dry out a little bit because it's been raining all day. Um, but I think that I might move my two palms back inside because if I don't, they're going to die out on the balcony because it is getting pretty cold here in St. Louis already, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today because I have no clue where I'm going to put those, but. Oh. What do you think, kitty? You got new plants. Yeah. Okay. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay here they are in all their glory i think they look so good they all suit their pots very well i think and they all just look so happy right now which makes me really happy i seriously thought that these cacti would be dead by now because like i said i've literally killed every succulent i've ever owned but they're doing okay they're not doing bad so i'm really happy about that the bunny ear cactus is literally just so freaking cute and fuzzy and i love him he gets like a lot of dirt trapped on him but he's just so stinking cute let me dust him off a little bit for you guys so yeah my bunny ear cactus so freaking cute so fluffy i really really like this guy i hope that it grows nice and big one day but you know, starting plants off small, although it takes a long, long time, it is very rewarding. So there is that guy. He looks so good. He's gonna go right back up on the shelf. And then my fairy castle, also super cute. I love how intricate these guys are. Like there is so much to them. And I just love like the texture of cacti. This one in particular, like all the white little like bumpy ridges are just so cool. From this side, you can really see how full this plant is. And I don't know, I just feel like this guy could potentially also get pretty big. So I'm hopeful for that. And then I've got Miss Begonia. She is just so beautiful. <clears throat> I hope her leaves darken up just a little bit too. I've never seen one with this light colored of leaves but give her a little bit of time. I need to do some research on this one, see how much light it needs and stuff before I figure out where I'm gonna place it. But I just, I'm so happy that I finally found a begonia. She is so beautiful. I love the bits of pink too. Let me spin her around a little bit. But these bits of pink specifically in like the stem area are just so pretty, so freaking pretty. And like I said, it has so many new little babies coming out all along the stem you can kind of see them that they're they're wanting to come out so hopefully they do but she's just so precious i love her and then finally for the grand finale the whole reason i went plant shopping in the first place was to get this pot and this little peperomia it's not even little it is so full like the detail on the leaves for this are so interesting to me i have a Oh god, what is it? It's a silver something, but the leaves are really intricate, and then like the satin pothos that I have too almost reminds me of this. I love just 
the different textures and like the different colors that can pop up in different plants are so cool and this definitely has to go as to one of my favorites i'm really surprised i don't have a peperomia yet but like i said since this guy was only 8.99 and he was this full i was like oh yeah it's just meant to be and he fits in this pot perfect so that's my little plant haul slash repotting hope that was a fun time for you i appreciate you joining me and helping me out with my little uh plant care day if you will so i'm gonna finish cleaning all this crap up and figure out where exactly to place these guys and i guess that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you hanging out with me today and i will see you in my next video Bye.